When we speak about unique items in Dutch Delftware, they are usually 17th century and not 18th century. Welcome to Tefaf Maastricht. Let me show you a very unique 18th century piece of Dutch Delftware. There is this one specific object I would like to share with you. This polychrome figure of an angel. It was made in Delft circa 1765 and is attributed to Jacobus Halder, the owner of the Griekse A, the Greek A factory, from 1764 to 1768. In the art of the 16th century, allegories gained immense popularity, featuring personifications embodied by male or female figures, adorned with attributes indicative of their meanings. Gods and goddesses could also convey allegorical messages. The true significance often unfolded through engraved texts, typically composed in Latin, aligning with the fashion of the time. In the humanistic climate of the 16th century, people embraced imagery, metaphors and complexity without objections. While the use of allegories waned in popularity after 1600, it persisted, albeit less prominently. Delft potters occasionally drew inspiration from the allegorical themes, with one of the most well-known being the allegory of the Four Seasons. While representations varied, the seasons were often depicted by putti figurines alongside specific seasonal vegetation, activities and customs. This Delft figure distinctly portraying an allegory of astrology stands out as exceptional. Its inspiration might trace back to a painting of the allegory of astrology by the Flemish painter Frans Flores, 1515-1570, or a similar scene engraved by the Dutch-born Cornelis Kort, 1533-1578. While unmarked, recent research supports the attribution of this figure to Jacobus Halder. As detailed in the article Jacobus Halder, published in our newsletter of March 2024 and online on our website. Visit aronson.com and simply search for Halder. Notably, a pair of polychrome putti candlesticks from the Museum Arnhem collection, marked for Jacobus Halder, exhibit si striking similarities in decoration. This figure was sold by Stodel Antiquité at the Art and Antiques Fair in Delft in 1962 and remained in a Dutch private collection in Amsterdam until we bought it in 2022. We didn't bring it to market before we could paint you the complete picture of this unique 18th century Delftware figure. Do you enjoy these short clips? It would help us tremendously if you would give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the circle or this box over here to see a movie like this. Until next time.